Welcome back. Well, from the Matrix to the Lord of the Rings, there's no denying Hugo Weaving is one of Australia's finest and most accomplished actors. And now he's sharing the screen with British beauty Kate Winslet in their new film, The Dressmaker. So what does he really think of the superstar? Well, we sent our own superstar, Sonia Kruger, to find out. Myrtle Dunnage. You grew up. You got old. Myrtle Dunnage is back. I haven't seen her since she was a kid. I wonder how she turned out. How's my mother? Molly doesn't get out much. I don't know why you've come to this hole. Who lives at Mad Molly's now? She's back! The murderess is back! Hugo, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Working with Kate Winslet, what's she like? Uh, she's beautiful. Lovely, lovely, down-to-earth person. Very easy to get on, to get on with. Good fun. Um, hard-working. Very, very easy. No, no, no problems at all. She's kind of exactly as you might expect. She's yeah. Just gorgeous. So where did you go from here? I worked in London, Milan, and Paris. I reckon you came home for one of two things. Revenge or me? Gertrude Pratt. The dance is Saturday night. A dress can't change anything. Watch and learn, Gertrude. Watch and learn. She does quite a good Australian she accent. She does a great Australian accent. Yeah. 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 Liam Hemsworth said he, he was a bit intimidated by her. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, she's terrific, but um, uh, yeah. and she she's she's quite sort of sassy too. I mean, she's quite upfront, but there's nothing about her that yeah. is aggressive or or in your face. She's just. Really, I think it's probably really... more her body of work. Yeah, or her body. Or her body. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, Dior? Very good, Sergeant Ferret. My design, but Dior inspired. In the in the film, you play the town policeman, but the character that you play is also a closet cross-dresser. Mm. So just tell us a little bit about him. So this film's set in the 1950s, and it's a small country town. Sergeant Ferret is the local policeman, but he does have a secret of his own that, um, uh, so he sort of leads a double life. Come on, girls. Rehearsal time. Did that, uh, in a way, bring back memories of Priscilla? Well, a little bit. I mean, you've got a, you've got an extraordinary outback setting, and you've got a you've got a man wearing frocks. I suppose that's the similarity. The difference being Priscilla, of course, is drag queens, where it's it's a very flamboyant political expression mm -hmm. of of someone to say, "Look at me, this is who I am." Yes. Whereas yeah. Farrett's kind of the opposite. Actually, he doesn't want anyone to know. Yeah. And so when he inadvertently reveals to both Chili and Molly, um, Kate and Judy's characters, that he actually loves this fabric that they've uh, they they have, mm -hmm. and they realise that uh, he, he, he's more than he seems. It's kind of quite delightful. We do a lot about fashion on our show, so we thought we'd ask you some questions about fashion. Mm -hmm. that, that's all right, Hugo. Yes, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very serious program that yeah, I work I understand for. That. Um, what's the most expensive item in your wardrobe? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something I that somebody else I wouldn't else know, and I wouldn't think it would be that expensive, but probably uh, probably a suit I got made for me, so oh. a bespoke suit. What's the oldest item of clothing in your wardrobe? It might be something of my dad's. I, d I did get a couple of uh, things of his when he died, mm -hmm. so yeah, but I don't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> this is for sentimental, yeah. Yeah. There are two styles that are really hot this season, frills and florals. Yeah. Which one is going to be the biggest trend? I would have to hope that it would be florals rather than frills. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Yeah. You are a cancer of this planet and we are the cure. Well, I think you're probably one of our national treasures and your body of work is quite extraordinary too. I mean, do you look back at some of the films you've done and some of the work you've done and think, Wow, how did I get here? But sometimes I look back and go, did I do that? We were, God, that's such a long time ago. I'm just getting too old. I'm forgetting things. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, The Dressmaker hits cinemas next Thursday. It looks good. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Aussie film, go support it.